Today, I want to talk about Ramondre Stevenson entering the NFL draft, what that means for Oklahoma, and some takeaways from the College Football Awards show. And all that's coming up after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You got to help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related, sports related. We have a good time. Today, I want to talk about the College Football Awards show and Ramondre Stevenson choosing to enter the NFL draft. First, I got to I got to give it up to the hometown team and the dude from Hominy, Oklahoma, Zaven Collins, who has not only picked up the Nagurski Trophy, but the Bednarik Award for the nation's best defensive player and the college football's best defensive player all over again. Like, it's defensive MVP. Like, it's a defensive Heisman to win the Bednarik Award, right? And then added that, he made the Walter Camp All-America team. He's been on a number of first-team All-America teams. And Zayvon Collins had a monster year for the University of Tulsa, which is my alma mater. And I really had a lot of fun watching him play ball. I'm also looking at Alabama and just how ridiculous that team looks, even more so than they did on Tuesday, which I did not think was possible. When you consider that Najee Harris, Devontae Smith, Mac Jones were all top five finishers in the Heisman voting and finalists, right? Only two of those dudes got invited to the ceremony itself, but it's virtual this year. Mac Jones just finished his third behind Trevor Lawrence the second, and of course, Devontae Smith won it. Devontae Smith won the Walter Camp Player of the Year Award and the Bolitnikoff Award, the Slim Reaper with nearly 100 catches, 1,500 yards in the regular season, and was taking apart the secondaries of the number seven and the number four teams in less than two weeks, Notre Dame and Florida, 187 yards receiving against Florida, 130 yards receiving against Notre Dame with 100 coming in the first half. Just a monster year for him. Najee Harris picks up the Dope Walker Award, which is given to the nation's best running back. Add to that, Alex Leatherwood picking up the Outland Trophy. Add to that, Landon Dickerson picking up the Remington Award. And you can see just how ridiculously talented this Alabama team is. I'm really excited to see them in the national championship against Ohio State and Justin Fields. Ramondre Stevenson, running back for Oklahoma, decided to enter the NFL draft after a phenomenal year. Only played six games this year, but had 665 yards rushing on 101 attempts. That's 6.6 .6 yards per carry, seven total touchdowns. Last year, he had played 13 games, only had 64 carries, but also had 515 yards, right? That's eight yards per carry. He's going to go into the NFL draft having averaged 7.2 yards per carry, and as big and as fast and as strong as he is, I expect him to be a second, third round pick, maybe a first round pick. We'll see how that goes. I doubt it's a first round pick, but I do believe that there's a lot that we can pick up from what this means for Oklahoma. One, you get Kennedy Brooks back, so that's going to be nice. You, you get to replace like for like. Would you go into the transfer portal to go get a player? I think you would if the right player was there, knowing that you lose TJ Pledger as well. Perhaps there's a Ty Chandler that might want to take a look. There's also a Chris Curry who is out there. There are a number of places that you can go look. But I'm always interested in seeing what Oklahoma chooses to do at the running back position because it is such a sainted position at the university, and you've seen so so many good players come through doing the job. DeMarco Murray, who's running back's coach now, was phenomenal when I was in college. Samaj P. Ryan of late, Joe Mixon of late, of course, Ramondre Stevenson this year, Kennedy Brooks, and then Trey Sermon, who transferred to Ohio State, is going to be the starting tailback in a national championship game. So tremendous move for Ramondre to be able to do this after being suspended for half the season like psh, who does that they, now we're waiting on Nick Benito and Ronnie Perkins to make their decisions they'll have to have their decisions made by January 15th when the NFL draft early entry deadline is made but that's the news such as it is all right that is it for me that was just... no that's not it for me I forgot about my own friggin award because I'm an idiot congratulations to Texas Christian defensive back Trayvon Morig who won the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award. The award is given to the nation's best defensive back, and this was the closest voting for the award 
since 1987. There were three finalists, Richie Gant at UCF and, of course, Patrick Sertain II at Alabama. But what Mo Rigg had put together for Texas Christian was just remarkable. It's so nice to see TCU's defense get some measure of recognition, even if it comes from the committee for which I sit on the selection for. And we have over 300 voters that participate in this process. I'm privileged to be one of the folks that gets to have a say in who I think the best defensive backs in the country are. Now, also in there, he's the first Big 12 defensive back to win the award since 2006 when Aaron Ross won it at Texas. For perspective there, I graduated high school in 2006. I'm 33, right? This is it's like there's nearly twice as long, right? That's how that's how much time has passed since then. But when we take a look at what he means to the sport and what him winning this might do for his draft stock, tremendous for him. Also add in there that 425 ain't going anywhere. That 425 is still very very good and the only team that seems to have an answer for it at least inside this league is Oklahoma, and they're one of the most prolific offenses in the country year in and year out in the Lincoln-Riley era. But I'm sure Gary Patterson is feeling pretty good about this for Trayvon Morig, and I expect Trayvon to be, if not a first-round pick, second-round pick, probably in that high 40 range. If not, expect him to be taken off the board very early because he is that good. All right, that's it for me. Doses.